just as all mothers struck down the metal field. Alright, so where's the better climb? All the way up there. Uh, can we fast travel to Ross's grave? We can, good. Not home anymore. Not without Rost. There's nothing for me here anymore. Alright, where is his grave here? <clears throat> Snow haze. White as brown. <laughs> that thought got dark. <laughs> Alright, so it should be. His grave. Hi, Rost. I'll uh, just take this off. Don't want him listening in. Rost, I, I can't believe it's taken me so long to visit you. When you said goodbye, I was too quick to let you go. I just. I never really thought it would be the last time I saw you. I was just acting strong. I should have known you'd be watching. At the proving. Looking out for me. There for me when no one else was. Like always. One last time. So, I... I went inside the mountain. Do you remember the night before the proving? The final lesson you taught me? You said I needed to serve a purpose... bigger than myself. Well, it... <laughs> couldn't get much bigger. It's the same purpose that... drove Elizabeth... and Gaia... when they were willing to die for. So yeah... I'll do it. Give myself to that. For Elizabeth. And Gaia. And for you. Well, I've... got a master override to recover, so... I, I guess I'll be on my way. Until next time, Rost. That's a little heart wrenching. That's good though. Uh, after that, do side quests become available? Nope, there's none. None new. Good. That's good. Alright, to the bitter climb we go. Guess that campfire is closest. Collar mount. You know, I probably should have grabbed some more potions and stuff, but I think we'll be okay. I wonder if these in these next ruins, then, if we'll actually find the last power cell that we need for that armor. Maybe. Kinda hoping. Oh yeah, so I don't have to try to be so vigilant on searching. Oh, 
padlock there. Alright, up we go. The mountain that fell. To the bitter climb we go. Which I'm guessing follow the path. Hmm, or not. Ah, uh, we'll do a quick save. Just in case. Ah, I see it. That's, a, that's the only difficult part for some of these areas, is finding where you're supposed to start climbing. The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted. But they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? <laughs> Makes you wonder how easily silence gets up here then. Just because he said he would be waiting there too. Stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. Draw him out. Okay, that didn't work. There we go. That was going to be another stalker. Good. Way is clear.
Let's see what other machines await us on our path. And up further we climb. Yeah, this almost feels like a culmination, like we're pretty much at the end, or pretty darn close. I don't know, it's actually been surprising in the uh, length of the main story. Even though, yes, a lot of, it, a lot of our playtime. I doubt they think at all. More like an instant, gathering them to her grave. Hmm. Yeah, just take him down. Ah, is this weak to find? Might be. Oh, wow. Sweet. Another one. I might just try to sneak around these after this. about just sneaking by these then. And we're still going. Yeah, I'm sure there's an area. Probably at least another area or two of machines. And since we're getting tougher and tougher, I have a feeling we're probably either going to come across a Thunderjaw and or Stormbird. My bet's on a Stormbird. You'll them soon enough. At this point, thankfully, we've actually fought quite a few of them, so I am not worried. Where are we going? <laughs> ah, I see it. First, uh, I'm almost there. first story bit that we're forced to fight a storm bird. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 that's not good. Oh, 
no, 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 no. Dang it. Alright, I gotta wait for it to get closer now. as much as I can though, especially the full restores. Glad I got all those slow mo abilities. Sam, really helping. Uh oh, I think it's gonna die, Bob. Dive bomb again. And she be dead shortly here. Nice. Well, at least with all that fighting, too. On Stormbirds and Thunderjaws. At least they give some mods, too. And I'm glad at least I'm finding some medicine. Alright, should almost be there then.
wonder if we're gonna get a good uh, overlook then. Of Gaia Prime. And what that facility looks like. Eh, bandage point back there, but I'll do that some other time. What? Cleared up up here. Hmm. Oh, that's eerie. Guy's sacrifice. <sighs> Did this. Cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg. Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. Hmm, okay. Climb up the outcrop. Yeah, it had you to have been him. You a path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with the climbing path either. Hmm. <laughs> Good point. Gotta get him that. Don't look down. Don't look down. Bunker discovered Gaia Prime. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. Hmm. What is that? Interesting. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. Looks like you've spent a lot of time here. Nineteen years ago, a great explosion destroyed this mountain. Gaia's death, your birth. The echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... After seeing the damage, how could that be? She said any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But... do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? Well, you know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine. And by the same principle, it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia. But that would take years, and we're counting the time we have left by the hour. I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. <laughs> Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Please Gonna have to get used to that. Clear to 
Yeah, since we still don't have that last cell, we're gonna have to explore thoroughly. Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hell. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they're incubated, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. <laughs> Vegan Travis, you'd think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice. We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? Can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. Figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue... Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that... I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, you will. You what, 30? Rick, can you be the one turning the lights off at the end? Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. <laughs> Good point. All right. Mind your footing. That was fortunate and unintentional. All right. Jeez. This facility was whole once, but it's all blasted apart. Just a big chasm. I wonder if we have to go all the way down to the bottom. In this way. So off we go through there. That's my way across. Oh, that's a lucky grab. It's uh held like this for 19 years, right? Well, D don't answer. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it's fallen apart a bit over the years. Oh, glad that's over. <sighs> nope, nothing in there. Darn it. <coughs> I didn't say a thing, did I? Okay, there's something up there. Oh, wait, is that the way we're supposed to go? Yeah, we are. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Dang it. I was hoping for more than that. At least. All right, up we go. This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Just nothing. Wow. Anything in here? A log, maybe? Nope. Hmm. Surprising. Yeah, you can't go through there, so... 
evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saidi zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. Angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. Jeez. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an Alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given a chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. Jeez. Yeah, but I can get the despair. I can understand that. Especially of doubt and regret. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? Scan them. The Focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but it's... Engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Interesting. At which point, we may actually hear them during this game, if not in the next one. Interesting thought there. Elizabeth. What is this? Examine the shrine. Yeah, let's explore a bit first. See what else there is in here. Nothing in here. Hmm. this open. Well, what's hiding away in here? I wonder. Well, nothing extremely special. I was hoping for a power cell. Check this out, then. This is Charles Rodson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. 
Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who could I signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen, the swarm's too close. Really, it's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out, that's what she does. Not like this, there's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm... I'm no good at endings, at letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And, uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. I want to go home. Goodbye. That was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Wow. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh, <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. <sighs> Look, Liz, you are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was... Dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg... I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean... Elizabeth Sobek... There's only one. I miss you. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Can't you just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel? She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. 
Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. I wonder where her home was. I guess we're going back to searching for the master override. So keep on going. Hopefully you don't run to cultists while we're here. In this unstable places. What are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so-called truth? A whole lot of noise? It's not tablet, Les. It's poison. Hmm, that's coming from Ted. Sounds like he's grown, actually. After everything that happened. There's another section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm glad I fell into that. I was about to just fall into the wood. Didn't even think about jumping. Don't know why. Is there... Oh wow, this is the way I'm supposed to go. Crazy. What's this lead to, though? Anything special? And I think that just takes me down near the beginning. So I don't want to go there. So yeah, we're gonna keep climbing. the hatch. The air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. Hmm. Yes, I want to check this room first. And not much special. Alrighty then. Let's see what was recorded here. I'm locked out of court control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, 
Stop trying to access the set system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. What I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus fail-safe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Protecting atmosphere. So he purged the ones who created Gaia and got rid of the knowledge just out of fear. He killed them all. So this is why. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. He never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the alphas themselves. No, not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we are living in. It's, it's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Hmm. And no one had any time for recordings or anything. And the Master Override. The Master Override? That's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. 